Hello everybody, Robin here at Toadstool Tarot. And I'm sitting here tonight admiring my tarot deck collection and I was thinking, I'm not sure I've ever run across anybody put forth the challenge um, beautiful tarot backs. Now, I know a lot of times the backs of the cards aren't particularly important, but handling or holding or collecting a tarot deck is admiration of a work of art, a piece of art. And the backs can be as important to that experience as the fronts, even the boxes or the containers, uh, the cardstock, uh, the texture, the feel of the cards. But today I just thought I would share with you my most beautiful tarot backs. And I'm going to put this in a hashtag challenge and I hope many of you will share your favorite uh, tarot back designs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show the back of each set of cards and then just show you maybe three samples of the art on the front just you know so it's not all backs but you get a sense of how the back might be paired with the front or matched with the aesthetic of the front so I'm going to start off with my current favorite which is the manuscript of initiation now I believe this is the second or third edition, so the backs have changed. But uh, these are the backs, and this is my favorite and most beautiful back design to a tarot deck. Manuscript of Initiation. And the fronts. These are just a couple cards to show you. They are from medieval manuscript um, marginalia. My second favorite is, I mean, these are at the top of my list, although <clears throat> what I'm showing you isn't in any particular order other than my top two favorites. So my second favorite, might even be my first favorite, I'm not sure, is the Mara Loon Tarot. And these are the backs of the Mara Loon. And several of the fronts. Number three is from, I uh, can't remember if it's, I think it's Los Garabeo, uh, the Golden Botticelli Tarot. And these are the beautiful backs. And several of the fronts with that gold foil filigree I'm still waiting and hoping that they'll reissue this without the multi languages on the borders but uh, it's it's a beautiful deck Bear with me while I return these cards to their storage boxes. Some are in bags, some are in boxes. 
Number four is an out-of-print deck called the Decadent Dream Tarot. Or it might be Decadent Dreams Tarot, I'm not sure. Oh, Decadent Dream Tarot. That's the title card. And I love the backs of these. I like the backs of these actually more than the fronts. This was an indie deck, and unfortunately, uh, a lot of the reproductions on the fronts are very dark and difficult to um, make out. Um, there classic works of art but uh, some of them are darker than others for example it's funny actually the camera's picking it up a little bit better than than it looks in the light of my room here Number five is a, a Lenormand deck by um, Los Carabeo. Is it Los Carabeo? Yes. It's called the Lenormand Oracle Cards. <clears throat> and these are the backs. I do tend to love floral or sort of uh, Art Nouveau or Pre-Raphaelite kind of uh, designs. So here are the fronts. Next, I have the Tarot of Delphi. This also is out of print, sorry. These are a little bit larger than usual cards, glossy, making it hard to share here. But they're beautifully done in kind of orangey red and gold and black. Here are several cards. Next is an oracle called the Forest Fay. And Here is the back, or a back, of these lovely cards. And the other side. Next we have, let's see, number eight, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. These are the backs. And several of the fronts.
Number nine, we have the Green Menagerie. These are the backs. And several of the fronts. I believe I have walkthroughs on my channel of all these decks if you want to see more or you can simply look to other channels for their walkthroughs. Number 10 is the Taro Nova which is also called I think the Running Press Taro. These are little squarish cards a beautiful sort of garden design on the back. And a couple of the fronts. Uh, next is the AGM Tarot of AE Weight. Now this is a <clears throat> sort of a standard uh, Rider Weight Smith deck. Um, I don't know if these are available in the U.S. I don't think so. I think I had to send to um, across the ocean for these. But um, this is a version that comes with a crackleback design, which was one of the original designs. I'm not sure if it was the first one or not. Probably not, but somewhere in there. I just love that crackleback. And these are the fronts. Now, in a similar vein, we have Conrad Stain, who has done a deck. It's a TDM, a, a Terra de Marseille deck called Arnault, A R N O U L T, I think. I'm not sure. And this uses a crackle back, which is um, symmetrical which I like, and it's sort of eggshell white. He also has a, a sort of decks uh, with cracklebacks in black and gray, I think, and a number of different uh, variations. This is after a Bizan song. Swiss deck in interesting colors, I think. And I also have his um, Pam's Old deck. I love these backs. Beautiful, simple pattern, but in a, a really interesting um, color palette. And this is one where he's stripped the skies to white in the background. It's 
Abraham's old tarot. Um, let's see, number 14 and 15. I have two gold foil decks that I got off Amazon. This is the first one. <clears throat> and this is the back. There are a number of these gold foil decks on there and different variations on the back designs. They're plastic cards and they have refractory, I'm not sure if that's the right word, reflective, refractory, sort of light bending or reflecting uh, surfaces on the cards to add some different interest to what we're used to. Then I also found a green version. This I think is also called the gold foil tarot. So you have to just sort of read the fine print and look at the images and see what they'll, they'll show you. Again, plastic. And this is a little bit hard for the camera probably to pick up. There's a moon face on there and there's a a lot of ornate detail, but it probably isn't photographing very well. I don't know if you can get an idea of that. And here's the other side. Sort of blue-green. Then I have the Harmonious Tarot, which I, actually, I have three versions of this, and one of them is the original one from Los Carabeo that has multiple languages, which I don't like in the large version. Then I have a mini version in a box, which has symbols instead of the languages. And then Total Tarot Magazine um, released the original size without multiple languages and I had my friend Sandra pick me up a copy and and uh, send it to me so I have that and these are the beautiful backs of the harmonious tarot and this again has sort of Art Nouveau imagery Now, I didn't show you the best cards from each deck for this walkthrough. Um, usually when I prepare, I go through and hand pick my favorites in the deck. But uh, this was kind of a spur of the moment thing. So since the emphasis is on the backs for this and not the fronts, I didn't do that. And the last one I'm going to show you is one I found on Etsy called the Vintage Tarot. And this one kind of looks like antique uh, Rococo, Rococo? I'm not sure, wallpaper or antique vintage wallpaper design kind of. How does that feel to it? And a couple of the fronts.
So I hope some of you have enjoyed that and realized or appreciate the value in the artwork for the backs of decks um, as much as the fronts. And uh, I could probably do a whole video of horrible tarot back designs, but I'm not sure that's particularly helpful to anybody and I don't want to put anybody's work down but let's just say these are the highlights of my collection in terms of uh, card back design beautiful tarot backs I hope you'll partake of this challenge and share some of your favorites with me tag me so I can see them when you when you do a VR till next time bye